Hello, beautiful people. How y'all doing? I'm doing okay today. Um, first of all, let me get some birthday shouts out to some celebrities. Um, the one and only seductress of the world. <laughs> the beautiful Nicole Murphy. Uh, she turns 52, child. That's a good 52, right? Oh, God, that's a beautiful, sickening woman. Deadly good looks. Ooh. So I know some of the girls want to take her out, allegedly. I don't know. Y'all know the whole thing, you know, the way down with the, you know, mess with people's husbands and things. I don't know. It ain't my business. Um, also, let me give a 74th happy birthday shout out to legendary actress Diane Keaton. Diane. I love, she's a legend. Legend. We love her legendary um, hairstyle, legendary outfit, just black and white all day suits. I love it. Um, let me give a, a happy 52nd birthday. Shouts out to um, Carrie Ann and Naba, darling. Carrie Ann. Dancing with the Stars Judge. She used to be, um, now she's on the talk, I believe. Um, and she also used to be a fly girl in the living color, darling. You see her down there on the end? Uh huh. And that's J Lo right there in the front, too. Didn't nobody like J Lo. They say it back in the day. Um, and finally, let me give a shout out to Miss Juicy Baby. Miss Juicy, um, reality star, actress, comedian, and um, Little Women Atlanta. Star Darling, you know, she also uh, works with uh, Ricky Smiley. So, shouts out to Miss Juicy Baby. Yes, Miss Juicy. <laughs> She's a mess. Okay, Real Housewives of Atlanta. Okay, so um, leaving off where I left off last week, uh, Nene was walking in, and um, you know, the girls wasn't saying much to Nene because the only person that, the only people that she's cool with right now is Candy, Tanya, and Marlo. Mm -hmm. So everybody else was just like What's she doing here? You know, they knew that she was there. But, you know, I, she also kinda walked into an awkward moment. So, um, you know. Yeah, so anyway, you know, the girls hug Nene or whatever, whatever. So Nene took the girls um off into their own little section and so she took Candy Yovana, Marlo um and you know so there was off drinking and you know just I think it was already drunk actually um you know Nene was sitting there eating some potato chips child and you know they was just talking and stuff and Candy kept asking. She was like, "Yo, who's the snitch? Who's the person that you think is the um the person that recorded Cynthia?" I want nobody to say nothing. Um, to be completely honest, at this point, I don't give a damn. I, I'm so, I'm so tired of like, you know, I've you know I'm subscribed to multiple people, multiple channels on YouTube. I follow multiple people on on all social media um, outlets. Um, so, you know, I saw a couple of links um, to a couple of YouTube videos where they were saying um, they revealed who the snake is or whatever. But who even cares at this point? I mean, so somebody recorded Cynthia. That's wrong. Yes. Um, you know, and, and I guess, you know, the, the other girls will have trouble trusting that individual, which completely makes sense. But I just think they're blowing it up out of proportion. Um, the person that recorded... Um, Cynthia and it's just like are y'all just gonna drag this all the way to the season finale it's just like could we just find out who the person is and move on to something else but uh, child they gonna drag it out you got, they gotta use what they got this season for sure so they're gonna drag it out um let me see you know they brought up uh, Marlo's event when Kenya came in with the marching band uh, I didn't even see when that was happening but um, you know, the girls was over there talking to Kenya and Marlo told Portia, Candy, and Cynthia to stop talking to Kenya that she about to go. And Candy was just like, Well, you can't really tell me to stop talking to somebody. And then Marlo told um Candy, Well, you can leave with her. <laughs> I screamed. And Candy was like, Okay. <laughs> so, um, I don't I, I actually don't think that um Candy left, but 
Yeah, that was funny. Uh, let me see. So, you know, they talked about how the, um, Sith, uh, Nini's, um, text messages or, or Instagram comments or posts, whatever, how it ended up on, um, B. Scott's blog. Shouts out to B. Scott. Um, he's making this coined. He's coined up, I'm sure. And he minds his business. He stay out of the limelight. He just like, look, let me sit, sit behind the scenes and make my coin and whatever. Um, so, uh, uh, Nene was like, that's one thing I don't do is talk to bloggers. Talk to bloggers. Y'all need to thank bloggers and vloggers like us because we are the reason to keep y'all name out in the streets. Such a, you know, some of y'all get a little big headed. Y'all ain't big, big celebrity, so, I mean, cut it. I mean, come on now. These folks act like they Merle Streep. I just, but you know, I digress. I'll just, you know, regular folk that got a chance, child. Um, so, you know, I was just like, uh, Nene girl, okay. Um, but, of course, um, Nene would not be too fond on B. Scott, um, because B. Scott is friends with Kenya. If y'all remember way back when B. Scott was in um, Kenya's video, um, Gone with the Wind Fabulous. So, um, yeah. And, you know, Nene keep her ear to the streets, child. I was just like, child, we just don't know. Um, Tanya came in with these ugly little shoes on. Cute dress, ugly shoes. Um, I'm not sure they were comfortable. And, um, you know, so they was just talking and um, there, you know, there was a, wasn't much to that scene. All the ladies arrived and, you know, Tang was just telling the girls the, the um, tea and, and what's going on. Uh, let me see. Uh, actually, a little before that, the girls went to, um, like, a part one of um, Carnival. Um, it, it was lovely. It was people on stage, you know, all jeweled out, big, um, you know, uh, uh, capes and, and everything, you know, with the whole extravagant you know moments it, it was lovely um so you know th that was definitely nice to see you know all these ladies have the capabilities to get along but the, you know why do, would there be a show if everybody got along I don't know so the next day um Tanya hooked up for all the ladies to get um outfits for um for carnival I guess to get um you know sized up and everything you know everybody was getting dude and naked child and you know they look great um, Candy's lipstick was a no for me. I think it was like this dark purple lipstick. It was either dark purple or brown or almost black. Whatever it was, it was not the move. Candy Burris. Um, the candy looks really good in her confessionals with the um, the shortcut. The shortcut is nasty on Miss Candy Burris, child. Um, very very escape day selling. Um, it reminds me of um. Clap my hands, stomp my feet, feel so good, feel so good. Y'all remember that? Yes. Um, but the lipstick was a no. Let me see, let me see. Just my opinion. Um, Nene, in that moment, she actually um, apologized to Eva. She just pulled Eva off to the side, started talking about it. It was just like, you know, I apologize. Eva expressed how she felt. I felt like it was a it was a good enough conversation. It was um honest enough. And um you know, it was cute. It was cute to see um a little bit of progress. Um will it last? Probably no. But you know, we all hope for the best, don't we? So, um, Eva said, uh, she accepted Nene's apology, but she keep an eye on her. Now, um, Kenya had expressed a little later on that, um, Nene is just making her rounds, child. She out there on that lonely ship by herself. So, she's making her rounds, okay? And, and she done apologize to Candy, to Tanya, and now to Eva. And next is gonna be Portia, Cynthia, and, uh, Kenya said that Nene ain't gonna apologize to her. And Nene says she's not going to apologize. And and both Kenya and Nene know where they stand. Um, so, I mean, you know, I, 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 there shouldn't be an issue, I feel like. Because they both know where they stand. They don't like each other. They will probably never really be real friends. Uh, just co-workers. And, and that's it. That's okay. Yeah, I work with co-workers. 
that are not friends. I mean, it's fine. It's just part of being an, an adult, you know. I might speak sometimes. You might speak sometimes. Hey, bye. Happy New Year. You know, that kind of stuff. Um, But, you know, y'all know where y'all stand is the most important thing. I don't hate you. I just don't fool with you. And, and vice versa. So, like T.S. Madison say, you know, so hell. Um, Shouts out to Maddie. Let me see. Let me see. What happened, y'all? So, um, all the ladies, uh, they went on this whole little zip lining moment where they went all the way up to the top of a building. Um, they were ta they were harnessed up and everything. Uh, they were attached to this, um, like, metal, um, <coughs> contraption, And, um, you know, they went all the way up and everybody was terrified. The only two people did not do it was Eva, she's pregnant, and Nene. Nene said that, um, you know, I wasn't meant to do this. And, and, um, I don't know, I, I don't know. It, it, in this physical body that I'm in now, you know, in, in my, you know, physical form being, you know, bigger and everything, I don't think that's something that I would try. I feel comfortable trying, um, you know, we don't know the weight capacity. We don't know, you know, I, I didn't know. That's a question that I, my big ass would have asked. Um, but, you know, they leaned over and, you know, a couple of ladies were scared, but I believe they all did it in their own time. Um, but yeah, definitely scary. But I mean, they didn't do nothing, and they got off the elevator. All the ladies acted like they did. So, and I was with Candy. Candy was like, "Child, this ain't nothing for me." But y'all hoes ain't did nothing. Y'all ain't did nothing. But just peek over the damn building. I said, "What? Well, aren't they supposed to jump or dive, look low, or something?" I was just like, "Child, tired, child, tired, tired, tired." Uh, let me see. <laughs> um, all the ladies at one point they were uh, making fun of each other on the um, bus and, and that was hilarious Kenya did, Tanya um, Portia did, Cynthia Candy did um, Nene uh, Yovana did Portia um and, and uh, that was a little odd. She could just kept talking about fried chicken. I'm like, Portia's an eater. Like Candy is. But when has Portia ever been going on and on about fried chicken? I'm like, damn, if, if your wana wasn't black, I would be offended. She just kept going on and on about fried chicken and watermelon and, and collard greens. I was just like, is this racial? <laughs> a mess. And, and Eva did go vana. That was hilarious. Hilarious. So, you know, it's it's always refreshing to see the ladies get along because you know the shit ain't gonna last long. So it's it's nice to see. Portia's just super, super cute. She is all the time. Um, I don't know how anybody could initially not like Portia. Um, she just has um just just a great energy and um just fun and you know, just uh, happy and you know whatever. Okay, um let me see. So Tanya man arrived, child. Tanya old man arrived. What's his name? I don't know. It don't matter. Um, uh, right behind him was child Dennis. So Tanya, um, man and Dennis are good friends. Tanya and her man have been both pushing for Dennis and Portia to work it out. Um, they have worked it out. Dennis is, um, as far as I know right now, Dennis and Portia are back together. Um, good luck. Hell, I don't know. Um, so, but yet, you know, he wants, he's there to get his lady back and all this other kind of stuff. I don't know if he's going to try to propose to her. I think it's a little soon, sir. You know, a lot of times when, when dudes mess up, they always try to, you know, um, yeah, they want you to forgive them quick, A, and they want you to get over it, B, and, and C, they want to, uh, just, you know, overwhelm you with gifts and love and, you know, it's just like, you know, it's just all just to make you get over it fast and, and, you know. 
sooner or later some of the old habits are still going to trickle back in but we're going to see and we're going to hope for the best how about that um so he said he let get his woman back I mean y'all was back together so I, I don't know why you needed to come and now it's just going to be a different dynamic since the men are there so I don't know if the men the women Tanya and Portia just going to leave the other girls and go about their business or what um, but they definitely need Tanya and Portia's energy because um, if those like hyperactive energy, positive energy forces are not there, um, somebody going to get into it. So, you know, they, they definitely need them there to diffuse the situation or potential situation. Uh, let me see. Let me see. So the ladies, um, you know, they was out drinking, you know, having fun. Um Portia, Kenya, and Candy was sticking near each other a lot. Um, so, Yovana came up. Um, and, you know, they kept asking Yovana, you know, what's going on? And y Yovana was like, child, I just feel like it's just a lot of foo-foo stuff going on. I was like, what you mean by foo-foo? It was like, we feel like it's a lot of foo-foo stuff going on. Like, um, you know, just everybody's just being fake and stuff. And yada said yada. It was just like, well, sis, let me see. So is you the one that leaked the um that, that recorded Cynthia talking about Nene? Now this is like the third time they done asked Yovana that. Each time she says no. She's but this time she says she know who did it, but she wouldn't say it. So Nene wouldn't say who recorded Cynthia. Yovana wouldn't say who recorded Cynthia. Earlier also in the episode, Marlo said that she knows who did it. Um what well, did she say she don't I think Marlo said she don't know who did it, but I don't know what Marlo said. Will somebody just tell who the snitch is? I promise I'm not going to give a damn. Well, let me say, let me think. I don't know. I'm, more than likely, I'm not going to give a damn. I'm not going to be shocked. Because people do whatever they have to do on these reality shows to secure a spot for next season. So they can keep, keep getting checks. It's money, money, money. At this point, I wouldn't be shocked if Kenya did it. Um, because this is Kenya's first season back from her a hiatus. Um, and she's also getting paid the lowest amount this season. So Nene, uh, Kenya is doing what she has to do to get to that top spot, to get to that top paying spot. Um, so I wouldn't be shocked at this point if it was Kenya, although I don't think it's Kenya. Yovana keeps saying it's not her. I doubt it's Marlo. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I, I think maybe it's still somebody that we haven't met yet. Somebody that's going to come into the circle um, you know, in the in the later episodes. That's who I think the snake is. Because, because you know, like I was saying, I don't think we're going to find out who the snake is anytime soon. <coughs> it's working my nerves for real. Um, so y'all tell me in the comments who y'all think the snake is. Could the snake be Tanya? That would be a plot a plot to it, twist if, if the snake is uh, Tanya. That'll be something else, child. Ooh. I don't know. I don't know. It could be Tanya, child. Ooh. I don't know. Could it be Tanya? I don't think Tanya would do nothing like that. But who knows? Who knows? I don't know. Y'all tell me the conversation. Was there anything else going on? Of course, these good old shows. They save the good stuff. So, you know, whenever the ladies um, on these shows go on trips, they usually stay at least three episodes. So, um, next week, um, they're still going to be in Toronto. And next week is when Kenya and Nene is going to finally throw down or, or whatever. Um, and, and so, you know, they've been playing it like it was, it's going to happen this episode. Then they did the same thing last episode and, and it's been um, fakery and foolery. Uh, but next episode, they finally going to get into it, child. And Nene going to allegedly do the pumpkin. You know, like pumpkin, you know, spit on New York. Allegedly, Nene going to hawk up a hawk of spit and, and you know, give Nene um, the waterworks. Give Kenya the waterworks. So, we going to see if Nene going to do that. I don't know, child. I don't know. From the scenes, it looks like um, Kenya, Cynthia, and Nene are going to be talking, having a kind of heated argument, and then Kenya's going to jump in it, which is, you know, what Kenya do. Um, so, I don't know. We're going to see, child. Anyway, 
With that said, I am Mr. Chalaki. Mr. Chalaki on Google Plus. Follow me at is Kingsworld on Instagram and Twitter. At is Kingsworld eighty nine on Snapchat. Chase King on Facebook. Mr. Chalaki on Cash App and PayPal. And as always, run me my money or run me my fade. Run me my money the way I get paid. Stay black, stay tuned. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.